The Panthers had the week off, but are ready to resume their pursuit of the Saints in the NFC South. They get the equally rested Jets, who are also coming off a bye. Here are the top five things to know about this matchup, plus our predicted winner. Number one, Supercam may get most of the headlines in Carolina, but it is the Panthers' D that deserves all the accolades this year. Butler will come out throwing, and he throws an interception. Carolina's D is fifth in points per game against, second in total yards allowed per game, fourth in passing yards allowed per game, and third in rush yards allowed a game. All those stats set up nicely against the Jets, too. New York isn't ranked higher than 20th in any of those categories on the offensive side. Number two, get ready for a whole lot of blitzing. Oh, look out! Coming through. The Jets blitz 35.8% of pass plays, sixth most, and they've converted 13 of those blitzes into sacks, which is tied for fourth most. They've got no reason to take their foot off the gas in this case either. Newton's passer rating against the blitz this year is 75.5, which puts him 28th out of the 36 qualified quarterbacks. Look for the same on the other side of the football as well. Carolina actually blitzes even more often than the Jets, sending extra pass rushers on 43% of pass plays, and they've converted 16 of those into sacks, the second most, but McCown has been solid against extra pressure. His 94.3 passer rating ranks 13th. Number three, turnovers. They are the key difference between the Panthers' wins and their losses. Ball is out. That ball ripped away with Stewart going for extra yardage. It belongs to Atlanta. Carolina has three losses on the year, and in each game, they turn the ball over three times. In their seven wins, seven total turnovers. So ball security is especially vital to Cam and company. Number four, Carolina should get its top receiving threat back this week. Tight end Greg Olson practiced with the team and expects to play this week. He's been out since week two with a foot injury. And number five, you may not realize it, but the Jets sport one of the hottest receivers in football right now. Looking for Anderson, he got the ball! Robbie Anderson has scored in four straight games, and we're not talking about a bunch of three-yard outs. Anderson's 16.2 yards a catch average ranks third overall, and four of his five touchdowns were thrown from outside the red zone. Carolina is clearly the pick here, though the game being played in New York does give us pause, maybe because of what happened to the Chiefs against the Giants last week. But the Panthers have beaten the Bills, Dolphins, and Patriots, so they appear to understand how to beat the AFC East this year.